this is Austin, live from the living room. Something doesn't feel right. Something's, my mug, Bible, something's different. Something's different. Something's different. Is the table too close? Too far? So, something's different. Marbles, check. Bible, check. Bibles underneath, check. Laptop, check. I have on. Is it my shirt? Is something different? Something's different. Something different? There's something different. Have you ever had that in your life where something's different and you don't know exactly what it is, but it just doesn't feel the same and you're trying to figure it out? That's exactly where we are. You know, when, when things are different, like, like even the start of school, we're going to start school pretty soon and something's different. You know, we don't have to have back to school clothes because we're going virtually and when we're shopping, it just feels different and, and even the school supplies feel different. Something's different and when something is different in our lives, it, it can annoy us and it can, it, can, it can get in the way. Now, when we talk about things being different, like, like when we talk about the beginning of school, something different has a way of affecting us in a big way. In fact, when Paul is writing to the Romans, he uses this, this verse that I'm so, so glad that we have. And I also love to read it in um, the message where Eugene Peterson put it into his own words. So if you will, in Romans 12, it says this. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the patterns of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. See, when things are different, sometimes it gets in the way of us thinking about what our real task is. What is our real task? Well, when we're starting school, our real task is, is first learning, but second is preparing us to be that person. It's preparing us to be the person God wants us to be and, and is, is molding us to be in this life. So think about this. In the message, Romans 12, 1 through 2 says this. So here's what I want you to do, God helping you. Take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for Him. And then it says, do not become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out readily recognize what he wants from you and quickly respond to it. So think about this. Though things are different, though things are so different, we go back and we say this, take our ordinary life. And even though our ordinary life changes a little bit with school from home um, or during COVID or wearing a mask wherever we go or, or the different things we do, you're sleeping, eating, going to work, walking around life and place it before God as an offering. We get a chance to no matter where we go to school that we get to place our lives before God as an offering. And that's what God wants of us. But then he says this, don't be so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. The Bible brings it into uh, the idea of do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed. It means something's changed. Though something changes in our life, we're called to give that life to Christ, even in the middle of change and we don't understand it. So though something's changed, which I still don't know what it is. Something's different. Something different's not bad. That when we can take that difference and mold it and make it into a witness, man, that's a difference we can take. This is Austin, live from the Something's Different living room.